Good morning, Postmaster. Oh, getting ready for your vacation, I see. Oh, feel the chill in that breeze. Yeah, not much summer left. We're trying to get going before it's over. Oh, I nearly forgot. Do you have anything for me today? Well, 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 well. <laughs> what have we here? Hmm. Now, that's either six dozen dried kidney beans or... The maracas I ordered last week! Thank you, Postmaster. These are for our trip. When we get to Berry Breezy Bay Resort, they're gonna know we arrived. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> well, have a wonderful trip, Ms. Pudding. Hi, Postmaster Bumblebee. Now, what could it be that I'm forgetting? <laughs> could it be... this? <laughs> Delivery from Happy Pappy Snapapple Farm. Perfect! <laughs> Thank you! Now I can finish my snappy apple apple snacks. Would you like some? Oh, they're very good. Nope, can't. I'm on that new buttercup diet. <laughs> well, happy vacation. I'm so excited. It's like I'm there. <laughs> We're not there yet. We will be tomorrow. It's all I can think about. All I want to do is dance and dance. I can't wait to move into our perfect peach pink palace. <gasps> what do you think? I love it! And I'll be surfing those perfect azure waves. And me? I'm gonna be sunbathing under their perfect rows of coconut palms. And I am just gonna wanna sing! <laughs> Tropical paradise with blue skies It's better than a dream To dance by the sea Watching the waves all rolling by Come on girls, let's have some fun Let's dance all day under the sun Because the sunshine girls Tap your feet to the beat now Sunshine girls Jump up, move to the groove yeah. Sway to the left Sunscreen lotion check, swimsuits check, beach towels check, second set of beach towels for when the first set's wet check. Uh oh, wow, Orange, are you ever organized? Huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah, just the vacation checklist that I made. Whoa, look at you! I've hardly started packing, and already I've forgotten more than I can remember. Well, like I always say, you can never be too organized. I mean, what if we got all the way to Berry Breezy Bay Resort and forget something really important? Good point. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a copy of your checklist that I could borrow, would you? Just so happens that the first item on my list was to make copies of the list for everybody. That's so She's very nice. Here you go. Orange's official list of everything we need to bring. I even made a list of all the lists I made. Organization, that's the key to a happy vacation. Well, we better get busy. We've got a big day tomorrow. See you later. Right, better hurry. Everybody ready to go? Everybody check and double check their lists? Yep, there's nothing to do now but wait for the butterfly bus. According to the schedule, it should be here. Punctuality, that's the key to a happy vacation. <sighs> I think I'll practice napping on the beach. I think I'll practice my nifty new surf move. It's called... <sighs> the snooze. <laughs> <laughs> I hear something coming! Just the breeze. Oh, oh, is that 
got it. Huh. Guess not. Sorry, this letter was delayed by bad weather. It just arrived. Oh, it's from the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. We are happy that you will be visiting us <laughs> next year. What are these holy signs from now? We regret to inform you the resort has been closed early due to very, very breezy weather. It must be a joke. But look, there's more. This is no joke. Sorry. I really had my heart set on Berry Breezy Bay. I could almost feel that peach pink sand between my toes. <sighs> oh, oh, maybe we could go to the mountains instead. Except it's kind of breezier there. But there must be other resorts. Yes, I'll start researching them. Oh, great idea. I bet we can find something just like Berry Breezy Bay. Um, I'm afraid that won't work. Summer is just about over. There's no time to plan a whole new trip. You. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> there aren't going to be any sand castles in the peach pink sand. No surfing those perfect azure waves. And no sunbathing under the perfect rows of coconut palms. But why not? Why not? Because the whole island is closed. Who says we have to go to the island? What are we gonna do? Bring the island here? Yep. Yeah, right. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> if we can't go to the island, why don't we bring the island here? Do you know what she's talking about? Mm hmm. More or less. Mostly less. Here, let me show you. I'll build us a perfect copy of Very Breezy Bay Resort. With a beach and palms and sand castles. But where? Right here, on the shore of Very Bitty Lake. It'll be like we're really there. But it'll be our own place. A place where everyone in Very Bitty City can vacation. Someday, we could even have guests. Just like a real resort. I don't know, Orange. Do you think it's a bit ambitious? Yeah, it's maybe just a little itsy bitsy bit impractical, if not undoable. Sure, it's ambitious, impractical, undoable, and downright impossible. That's why I'm the one to make it happen. Just gonna take some good old fashioned hard work. We're sun, shine, girls. Do -do 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 -do. Do you really think she can pull this off? It's going to be a whole lot of work. Maybe she's bitten off more than she can chew. I sure don't want her to be disappointed. Maybe she really can make it happen if we help her. What do you say, girls? Yeah, we let's have do it, it together. Come on, guys. Let's get going. Can we help you, Orange? Well, let's see. Oh, why, yes, yes, you can. Lemon, you help Eric and Bloom with palms. Blueberry, we need chairs over there. Plum, strawberry, we need a tropical menu. Raspberry, you work with Eric and Bill on the sand. Cherry, you start with Eric and One down, 2,000 loads to go. Hmm. This is more red than peach pink. Berry Breezy Bay is famous for its peach pink sand. See? What if we try adding some pink grapefruit juice to it? That might make it pinker. Good thinking, Strawberry. You and Lemon can... <gasps> oh, no. Um, no, 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 Cherry! The chairs go over here. Not too bad, I think, if I do say so myself. Not bad, but not perfect. It has to look exactly like the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. They are famous for their exact replica sandcastle. Here, like this. 
But how do I... I mean, how can I... It's no big deal. All you have to do is tear this down and start all over. That's perfect! Just the right size for transplanting our berry bitty coconut palms. Um, where are our berry bitty coconut palms? Coming right up! I don't know how bitty they are, though. My berry bitty plant food is having a bit of trouble trying to bitty ice these big boys. How much trouble? Uh, let's just say they're smaller than big, but bigger than bitty. Uh, which could be good, depending. Depending on what? On um, how much shade you want. Let's bring one of them out! The smallest one, please! Too much shade. I agree. Just another day or so, and I'll be able to grow them to very bitty size. All right, send it back to the nursery. Oh, ah! hmm, no. Let's see. What's next? Hey, Orange, you want to have a look at this? Sure, Raspberry. Um, where is it? Oh, it, um, <laughs> uh, hmm, I, I could have sworn, but I, huh. Maybe we should try some lemonade. Well, that's very pretty. Oh, but it sure is starting to smell awful. Oh, no, 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 that's not it. It has to be exactly like the sand at Berry Breezy Bay. Well, we won't be able to call this Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Okay, team, let's try the wind machine. No, no, I can barely feel that. I want it to be a very big breeze. Try it again. Put a little more oomph into it. <laughs> tried your very best. But it was a very big project. Hmm? What were you saying? The resort? All that work? Blown away? Remember? I figured out the problem. My first sketch was just plain wrong. I downloaded the plans for Berry Breezy Bay from the internet. Now I can make it exactly like the real thing. Of course, we're going to have to work really, really hard to build this. Teamwork. That's the key. Meet me in five minutes and I'll hand out your new assignments. She can't be serious. We can't build something like that. There's no way. She's just setting herself up for another disappointment. <sighs> I'll go talk with her. 19 and 20. Orange. Hi, Strawberry. Glad you came. You can help me start digging the foundation for the hotel. Cherry can help mix cement. Plum can put in the plumbing. Raspberry's got the window shades and wallpaper. Lemon can lay the floor. I'll do the roof. And Blueberry can... Blueberry can... Hey, where are Cherry and Plum and Raspberry and Lemon and Blueberry? We're on a tight schedule. They're, uh... Not coming. Why not? <gasps> What's wrong? Well, I think maybe you have the wrong blueprints. I do? <gasps> oh, no! <gasps> Oh, for a minute there, I thought I'd made a mistake or something. Nope, these are the plans, all right. The plans they used to build the real resort. See? Every detail is exactly, precisely the same as on Berry Breezy Island. The beach, the hotel, the chairs, the palms. But what about these? Oh, 
those aren't any good. Oh, I think they are. Oh, come on. Just look. The details are all off. See that beach? Way too small. And the chairs? They're in the wrong place. And don't you think this is the most important detail? Huh? What detail? This. Right here. That's us having fun, having a great vacation together. Isn't that what matters most? Well, but wouldn't it be more fun with a big pink beach like this? And real palm trees like these? And... Um, I think what makes it fun is us being together, having fun. Yeah. Come to think of it, I haven't been much fun. I guess I've been kind of bossy. We don't want to give up on helping you with your dream, but... You know, maybe we don't need a big pink beach. Maybe we don't need palm trees. What if we build a tropical paradise that's just right for us? <laughs> that sounds like a very good idea, Orange. And what if I try to have more fun building it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> hmm? And Raspberry, build any kind of sandcastle you want. Just have fun doing it. <laughs> oh, I have so many this is ideas. Be great. Come on, let's get going. shade of pink. Maybe the coconuts aren't in perfect rows, but mmm, they taste great in these pies. Who needs the very breezy bay hotel when we have beach bungalows just right for us? Maybe it isn't exactly like that other place, but this is better because we built it together. Orange, will you do the honors? I'd be happy to. My friends, tomorrow Vacation begins! Welcome to our very own Berry Bitty Resort! Yeah! <laughs> Beyond the berry breeze, an island waits for me. Tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea, watching the waves all rolling by. Come on, girls, let's have some fun. Let's dance all
out pretty good, don't you think? It's paradise, Orange. <laughs> Our very own tropical paradise. Because we're together, being with friends. That's the key. Yeah! <laughs> hey, look, everybody! Surf's up! We're Here you go, Mr. Longface. Pomegranate tea and apple slices. Oh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. You're very welcome. And thank you for watching the cafe for me. My pleasure. And how is your garden growing? Oh, I'm hoping my flowers will be at their best in time for the flower festival. Come on, Pupcake. <laughs> ah, yes. The flower festival. The event of the year. Everyone? Hi, Berry Can Bloom. Well, your roses look very lovely this year. <laughs> as usual. You just might win again, as usual. Thank you, Lemon Meringue, Strawberry Shortcake. Here, Strawberry, your flowers might want some water before the day gets any hotter. Why, thank you. Those are beautiful, Lemon. I think that this year your flowers are going to be the ones to beat. Oh, no. You can't mean my violets stand a chance against your award-winning roses. Oh, I'm telling no lies. You can win the first prize. You're so kind to say so. <sighs> first prize. <laughs> and now, to the individual who has toiled from sunrise to sunset, Growing the most perfect flowers, I award first prize to... Lemon Meringue! Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. 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 Lemon! Huh? Oh, uh, what? It's getting late. Are you coming in? We were worried about you. You've been out here for hours. I'll be right there. Soon as I tuck them in for the night. <laughs> Good night. See you in the morning. <gasps> My violets! Awful! Tragic! Weird! We're so sorry, Lemon. My poor violets. What could have happened? It's certainly a mystery. We'll find out how it happened. But who would do such a thing? Who? You think someone took your violets? A flower thief. <laughs> oh, good morning, Miss Meringue. You're here early today. So are you. Good morning, Mr. Bloom. How are you? <laughs> hmm. Lemon? Oh, my. Oh, me. Is that sadness I see? I... Uh, uh... Lemon's had a misfortune, Mr. Bloom. One of her violets went missing. Oh, no. But... but how? We don't know. Oh, that's so sad for you. Now I feel bad, too. I'm sure you do. Come on, Lemon. I'll make you a pancake breakfast and wake me up fruit juice surprise at the cafe. Lemon, you don't really think that nice Mr. Bloom would do a thing like that, do you? Of course not, but, uh, well, didn't you see? See what? His guardian is right next to mine. That's true. 
Well? It's also true that we've known Barrican Bloom a long time. Lemon, you've got to be careful of accusing people. You could really hurt someone's feelings. Uh, I'd never want that to happen. <sighs> You're right, Strawberry. Barrican Bloom would never do a thing like that. <gasps> what is it, Miss Moraine? M m m m more of my violets are missing! Stolen! Oh, goodness me, I didn't see. I was here the whole time, but I... I witnessed no crime. Well, we're actually not really sure there's been a crime. If Barrican Bloom didn't see anything, there must be another explanation. <laughs> I can kind of see Lemon's point, though, Strawberry. No one else was around all day except Barry Kim Bloom. And he told me I'm his biggest competition. Maybe he's only complimenting you. He is nice that way. Why do you think he would steal your violets anyway? Because his roses win the flower show every year, and he wants to make sure he wins this year, too. <laughs> oh, you? You come back here, you little troublemaker. <laughs> oh, Lemon, I'm so sorry about your violets. I know how much you care about them, and how awful it feels to lose something so special. Thanks, Strawberry. But it would feel pretty bad if someone accused you of stealing when you didn't. I know, but why is he there all the time when no one else is? Maybe uh, he's there all the time working on his roses because he cares about them so much, just like you care about your violets. Huh, <sighs> that's true. Just don't make up your mind about what happened until we can figure it out for sure, okay? Okay, Strawberry. I'll try. And in the meantime, hope that whatever happened to your flowers doesn't happen again. <laughs> Mine are gone! Mine are gone too! <gasps> How could it? Who did this? Just like lemons! Everyone has flowers missing! Not everyone. American Bloom, did you lose any? Thank goodness all my roses are here. I'm so sorry for your flowers, my dear. Who else could it be? It's gotta be him. Oh, it's like Lemon said. This is serious, Strawberry. Very serious. Whoa. <laughs> My garden is like yours. It's just as I feared. My very best roses, they... <laughs> they've disappeared. <laughs> oh. Oh, Barricane Bloom, I'm so, so, so sorry. You don't know how sorry. What will we do? Flower Festival is two days away. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Princess. Okay, girls, what did everyone find? Well, with all the flowers missing, whoever carried them off... If someone carried them off. Okay, if someone carried them off, they are either really big or there is a lot of them. But we didn't find any tracks. Yeah, no tracks except ours. No, that's spooky. Uh, maybe the thief flew in. Could be. At this point, anything's possible. Where were you on the night when this terrible tragedy occurred? Asleep? <laughs> Me too. Oh, asleep, huh? That seems mighty suspicious. Uh, Lemon? They always sleep at night. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Ah-ha! Uh -huh. 
Yeah. Violet Petal Salad, huh? Why, hello there, Miss Meringue. Uh, yes, my favorite. My precious Violet's lunch! Mr. Longface, how could you? Oh, but they're not your violets. <laughs> I weeded and watered and worked for weeks growing my... They're not? Oh, no. I grew them myself. I'm afraid they're not fine enough to enter into the festival, uh, but good enough to eat. Huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Longface. Strawberry, it's just... I can't get over this bad feeling I have from hurting Mr. Longface's feelings. And after you warned me, too. I know. Sometimes it's hard not to jump to conclusions. I won't do it again. I want to get all the facts. That's what we're going to get. Yep. Ready for Catch a Thief Camp Out. This is going to be so scary. I can't wait. to mention too nice. So let's, you know, check the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> There's a great one. <laughs> Ew, look at me. You, <laughs> look at me. Hey, Lemon, this shot of your violets came out great. Nice one, Strawberry. Thanks. Hey, everybody, come here. Look at this. What? what? What is that? I don't know. But whatever it was, from the angle of the photo, it was right over... There! Come on, Lemon. You want to check it out, don't you? Uh, uh-huh. Sure. gonna do You're coming home with me where you'll be safe. Festival instead. Guys, I'm telling you, it's like something was under the ground. Things were going up and going down and sideways and forwards and shaking. It was like the end of the world. The end of the world? Not the end of the world. Close to the end of the world? No. The day before the end of the world, when it's getting into the part where all life as we know it ceases to lum. Huh? 
and the ground shaking have something to do with each other. Ah! Whoa! Did you see that? Uh, how could... How, how did... Look! I'm coming to the conclusion that the flowers are not being picked up. Yeah, they're being pulled down! Ah! Grab it! <laughs> 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 Oh. Oh. Look! Wow. Uh, girls, I just wanted to say I'm sorry I got us into this, and uh, maybe we don't need to know what's taking the flowers and uh, ending the world after all. <laughs> don't you want to figure this out? Come on, we're all here with you. Yeah. What could happen when you have your friends with you? Uh, how about... A lot? Lemon, it's about time we shine some light on this mystery. Okay, Strawberry, if you say so. are sure first prize with somebody. <laughs> Just my luck, it's a gopher. Wait, it's cute and all, but what will we tell Princess Barrican? With this critter around, we won't have any more flower festivals. Or flowers, for that matter. I think I have an idea. <laughs> Lemon, you're the best. But I feel bad that you don't have any flowers to enter in the festival. <sighs> so do I. Can I help you with that, Mr. Blue? Hello, Lemon. Uh, thank you. Mr. Bloom, I wanted to say I'm sorry about... Well, 
You see, I thought maybe you took my violets because you wanted to win. Oh, Lemon. In my heart! Oh, I knew you'd never do something like that, but somehow I let myself think it before I found out the truth. Will you forgive me? Of course, Lemon. You know, I do want to win. But what fun would it be if I was the only one in the contest? I heard how you gave up the flowers you loved best. By doing that, you saved mine and all of the rest. Thanks. And good luck. I hope you win. Thank you, Lemon. And second prize goes to... Barricade Bloom for his lovely roses. Second prize? He didn't win first prize? I can't believe it. I think his roses are the nicest. And now, the first prize for the most beautiful flowers in Very Bitty City. The first prize goes to... Lemon Moran! <laughs> Congratulations, Lemon! Congratulations, Lemon. Your violets really were first prize. But I didn't even enter a flower. Strawberry entered it for you. You're very welcome, Lemon. But it was Barry Can Bloom's idea. Would you like me to read you a story? Story! 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 Okay, how about if I read you this one? A story that I wrote myself. It's a story that takes place right here in Berry Bitty City. Uh, am I in it, Boo Berry? And me? And me? We're all in it. Wow! It's called The Berry Long Winter. Now, you might think this all happened on a winter's night, but it didn't. It didn't? <laughs> no. It happened on a winter's day. And because it was a winter's day, you might think it was cold. But it wasn't. It wasn't? No. It was as warm as spring. Everywhere you looked, winter was leaving. Now, you might think everyone would be happy. But they weren't. Aww. <laughs> Town. People were sorry to see winter leave so soon. I barely get these wonderful winter fashions designed and then displayed. And no one's even tried or, or barely seen or tried them on. And now I have to take them all down. Hi, hi Raspberry. Raspberry. Oh, hi. Uh, did you come to buy some wonderful winter fashions? Well, we were looking for something a little more... springy. <sighs> That's what I was afraid of. Well, I better get busy designing my spring line. And all over town, that's how it was. The early spring caught everyone by surprise. Oh, Bailey, you said your story was about winter. And it is. How can it be winter when it's warm? <laughs> well, you'll just have to be patient and see what happens. And so it was that lots of folks were sad to see winter turn warm. Lots of folks, but not everyone. Here you go. Hot chocolate? We should have ordered lemonade. Yeah, ice cold lemonade. Haven't you noticed the heat outside? <laughs> What's so wrong with an early spring? Everything. My store is overstocked with fruitcake, chestnuts, and marshmallows. I barely got to show off the new knit hat and matching scarf and mittens the raspberry made for me. The snow melted before I ever got a chance to go sledding, or build a snowman, or play my favorite winter game, Capture the Snowman's Nose. Oh, yeah! Oh, snowman's Nose! I really love that game. You know... We might not be able to wear our mittens until next winter, but we could play Capture the Snowman's Nose now! And to do that, we'd need snowmen. Exactly. And to do that, we'd need it to snow! <laughs> not necessarily. Snow! 
So, all you gotta do is keep the juicer rating confabulator turned on, keep this dial point here, flip on the freezelator like so, and presto, instant snow. Thank you, Barricade Bruce. This is great. <laughs> well, let's build our snowmen.
think we've ever had any rules. Yeah! yeah. 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 Doesn't the referee make the rules? I was thinking it's not really fair for me to make all the decisions about what's fair for everybody else. And in Berry Bitty City, everybody's opinions get to be heard. So, what do you think the rules should be? Oh, uh -oh. oh I don't well, know. Gosh, I haven't thought of any. Barricade Blue? Uh what if the rule was simply anything that's fun? Yeah! yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Very good. Should we put it to a vote? I love yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 All in favor of the only rule being anything that's fun, say aye. Aye! All opposed, say nay. <laughs> the ayes have it. The rule is passed. on this side. And the other three berrykins can form a team with raspberry, orange, and lemon. Now, each team will have the same advantages. Oh, no! Look! Uh-oh. It's melting! Quick, get some more snow! Do something! Oh, there it goes. I'm sorry, Strawberry. It's just too warm. The snowmaking machine can't keep its cool. Thanks for trying, Berrykin Bruce. Aw. Well, that's it. Fun while it lasted. Just when we worked out the teams. <sighs> Guess we'll have to wait till next winter. Yeah. Aww. Aww. Hold on, everybody. Gather round. What if we made our snowmen out of something other than snow? Oh, anybody have any ideas of what we can use to build a snowman that's white and fluffy? You mean besides mashed potatoes? <laughs> mashed potatoes! <laughs> that's it! <laughs> hey, I was joking! I'm not! <laughs> it could work! Come on, everybody! Like winter. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put away my winter fashions. Do you think it's too cold and windy to play? <laughs> yes, and it'll be getting dark soon. Let's come back in the morning. 
Meanwhile, hot chocolate for everyone at the cafe. <laughs> All their carrots had mysteriously disappeared. Well, this snowman's carrots are gone too. And, and we used most of the carrots we saved in the winter storehouse for playing the game. Ooh, and it looks like winter is coming back. Aha! Gotcha! I know who our thieves are. Light on their feet, but not light enough for me. Little do they know, I've read all 120 Patty Persimmon Girl Detective novels. Or is it 130? And I can say conclusively, without a shadow of a doubt, that the culprits are absolutely, positively... Squirrels. Yes! Uh, Yep, squirrel tracks. Three sets of them, it looks like. That is absolutely correct. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Squirrels can get very hungry. And three of them are three times as hungry. What if our carrots aren't enough for them? You mean, if they started eating the rest of our food? Yes. The crops we've stocked up in case it's a bad winter. Oh, it's not going to be a bad winter. I mean... It didn't look bad yesterday. Looks like a blizzard might be brewing. Well, in that case, shouldn't we try to leave something out for them? You know, share what we have. But if the winter gets really bad, what we have might not even be enough for us. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, hungry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm with Berry and Bloom. If a big blizzard hits, our berry bitty gardens and orchards would be buried. All we'd have to eat until spring would be frozen berrysicles. I think I'm with Strawberry. Shouldn't we share? Oh, I really think we should. Sharing is what we should do. Oh, well, no. Not if I don't so agree hungry. at all, because no. we run out. We have to. Oh, since this is really important, and everyone in town will have an opinion, I think we should vote. Well, all right. right. I agree. Yes. 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 Vote yes. 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 This vote is for yes. And the last vote is for no. So, on the question of should we share our stores of winter food with the squirrels and other animals, the vote is... a tie! The number of yes votes and no votes are the same. Oh. 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 What do we do? Oh. 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 Did everyone vote? Good. Wait, did you vote? Oh, <laughs> you're right. I was so busy taking care of this, I forgot to. <laughs> um, well, no matter which way I vote, some of you are going to be happy, and others, well, maybe not so happy. We've all talked about it. What's the best thing to do for all of us? For the whole town. We've gone over the weather predictions. We've added up how much food we have for the winter. And we've talked about, is it a good idea to give away some of what we have? When we don't really know how long the winter will last. Like all of you, I... I can only vote what I think. And what I feel. So on the question of should we share our stores of winter food, my vote is yes. And if a storm comes and we run out of food, 
They'll never forgive me. Everybody in Berry Bitty City loves you. You had a right to vote for what you believed was best. You weren't the only one who voted to share our food. But I was the tiebreaker. Oh, don't worry, Strawberry. <laughs> Who's that? It looks like some barricades. Oh, maybe they've come to tell me what they think of me. Well, I better face them. Good evening, everyone. Um, we've talked about it, and we've decided that you've been such a patient referee and leader, Strawberry. You respect all our different points of view, and so we'd like to ask you to be in charge of managing the rest of Berry Bitty City's food stores this winter. We think... Well, we think it would be the best thing for all of us. For the whole town. Yes, I agree. That's a great idea. Well, why don't we meet here in the morning, and we'll make a plan. All right, yeah, sounds yeah, good. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great idea. After we figure out the food situation, can we still play capture the snowman's nose? Well, I don't see why. I see. I see. <gasps> Look! We found our carrot thieves. But none of the carrots were eaten. You weren't hungry? Then why? You wanted to play capture the snowman's nose? <laughs> well then! <laughs> <laughs> 